Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss how to develop electric vehicle battery charging model using constant current, constant voltage meter. This is the method widely used in any electric vehicle. So whenever you charge a battery from a minimum value to, for an example, 60%, we normally use constant current method. Once the state of charge reaches 60%, we have to convert constant current to constant voltage concept. The reason behind this constant current constant voltage method is to safeguard your battery from overheating. While charging, normally the temperature of battery will increase. If we follow constant current initially, the pumping of electrons will be very high. At the same time, it will increase the temperature of battery. So once it reaches 60 or 70 percentage, so this limit will be different based on different kind of organizations, different kind of uh, designs. So once the state of charge reaches either 60 or 70 percentage, you have to convert constant current to constant voltage to reduce the temperature increment while charging. So if we implement this kind of CCCV method, it will definitely helpful to develop a battery with uh, safe conditions. We can avoid some kind of uh, explosions during charging. So now I'm straight away moving on to the MATLAB. Let me take a battery. So whatever the battery I'm taking, it's a lithium ion battery. It's a lithium ion. I'm going to include the temperature effect. So I'm enabling this simulate temperature effect. So in that simulate temperature effects, we will be having a lot of batteries. So that I'm going to select the first option, 3.3 volts, 2.3 ampere hour lithium ferrophosphate battery. Once you apply, automatically you cannot change the nominal voltage and rated capacity of battery because it will be fixed. Now I'm starting with the initial state of charge as 77 percentage. Why? Because from 0 to 70 percentage, sorry, from 0 to 80 percentage of state of charge, I am going to use constant current method. Once the battery reaches 80 percentage of SOC, so from 80 percentage to remaining 100 percentage of SOC, I am going to maintain constant voltage method. That's why I'm starting the initial state of charge with 77 percentage. The reason is to reduce the simulation time. But if you are doing, you can start it from the uh, 0 percentage or 10 percentage, whatever the case you want. You can start. Take a bus selector. So, from this bus selector, I am going to measure cell temperature, state of charge, current, as well as voltage. Now, I am going to write down the conditions for. CCCV method. Now I am going to write out the condition. So for that, I am taking a MATLAB function. So this MATLAB function is having one input and one output. You can modify it according to your requirement. It can increase any number of inputs as well as any number of outputs. So from this MATLAB function, I am going to take three outputs. One is the triggering output 
for constant voltage method the next one is constant current method the last one will be the the current value just double clicking this You have to write down the function, let it be the function y is equal to function of u. So y is nothing but it is a function of input. y is output here, u is input, y is function of input. I am going to change it actually. So how much output you want? I want with three outputs. So let me take this as S1, S2, S3. Or you can say this is C. So that is nothing but it is a function of SOC. The moment you changed, if you go back, you can see the output. This matter function consists of one input and three outputs. Simply connect whatever the SOC you are measuring, simply connect that SOC with this matter function. Okay, the input of matter function is state of charge and it is having three outputs. Now let us see how to implement the coding. Initially, I am defining that the CU is 0. So, what is CU? CU is nothing but it is a constant current input. Initially it was 0. Now I am going to write down the if condition if my state of charge is equal to 0. If you use 1 equal to that is assignment operator. If you use double equal to that is comparison operator. So I'm, now I'm comparing. I'm not assigning. I'm comparing. When the state of charge is equal to zero, or SOC is less than or equal to eighteen, that means so you can fix some range here. I'm going to. I'm going to. Use constant current method S1 is equal to 1. Cu, you can fix some values, let it be it's a 2 amps. Whatever the value I'm using, the current constant current value I'm using is 2 amps. S2 is equal to 0. I will let you know what is S1, S2, and all. So, in this case, when the state of charge is from 0 to 80 percentage. I am going to use constant current charging method. From 80 to 100 percentage of SOC, I am going to use constant voltage method. Else, S1 is equal to 0 s2 is equal to 1 so you have to use the end statement otherwise it throws you output so once the program is fixed then again go back to the system so now s1 s2 s cu is ready to
we take two MOSFET switches. We need to take a MOSFET. I don't want this input. The input is applicable only if you want to measure the voltage across the switch or current through the switch. You can use the input. Otherwise, you can zip it. Okay. So let me I'm fix this one is S1. It's a switch one. Let it be this one is S2. I need a DC voltage source because of constant voltage method. I need a voltage source. I'm making sure that the DC voltage value, whatever the value I'm using, it's 20 mil volts. You can use according to your design. See this RLC branch. So in that branch, I'm going to say I'm going to take only a resistor and its value will be so one. Take this R. And I'm going to take a diode. Here also I don't want the input, so I'm disabling the input. Now the positive is connected with the resistor whereas the negative will be connected with the battery here. S2 here. And this will be connected with the past. So this branch is nothing but it is a constant voltage charging method. Okay, that's why I'm using switch S2. For a constant current, I'm going to use S1. So in the meantime, you can define what is a current value. So Temperature value. It's a temperature. The nominal operating temperature of battery will be 25 degrees Celsius. So it will be I am taking a controlled current source. Not this one, this one belongs to actually SimScape physical systems. I need a controlled current source that should be in black color. It belongs to SimScape. Simply this negative is connected with this negative and the source input, if you look at this, this is nothing but the single input. That is nothing but this output of this CU. So here what I am doing this, I am taking a go to tab. Similarly, I am taking three go to tab. This one is S1. Make a practice always the tag visibility is clear. This is 
yes to. And it will say current input. See. So corresponding take the from output from CU, connect the CU here. So what is the value of CU? It's nothing but it's a 2 amps. As of now, I'm using 2 amps. Take the S1 switch. So negative is connected with the train. All the positives will be shorter. Now, I have to take the corresponding S1 as well as corresponding S2. S1 is connected with the constant current loop. This is connected with the constant voltage loop. If you want to highlight which portion it is, then you can use the area creation. This area creation portion. You see, this is constant current CC method. And similarly, you can define C. Our program is ready and we need a power guide. Power guide is mandatory and make sure that the power guide is a discrete power guide because it is somewhat complex system, right? Let it be it's a 5 e power minus 5. Let me check one second the inputs and make sure that the stop time should be at least um, 3600 into 3. So I'm just going to simulate the same system for 3 years because it's a battery, right? I need this much amount of time to charge the battery. So, whatever the battery I took, it's a lithium ion battery, the two it's a lithium I lithium ferrophosphate. So the voltage of single battery, single cell is 3.3 volts, 2.3 ampere. You cannot modify this nominal voltage in the capacity, it will be the same. So whatever the initial state of charge, I am starting with 77 percentage. Okay, so then only you can easily understand what how actually it is working. If you want to see the outputs, let me connect the display block to the switch. Simply connect this display with S1 and here with S2. This is CC. Let me just miss CV.
expanding. So I'm starting with the battery SOC of 77 percentage. If it is a 77 percentage, that means it's falling under the category of 0 to 80. Okay, initially it will be in constant current charging method. Once the level reaches 80 percentage, it will move to constant voltage method. So if you look at this, initially this will be enabled as 1, this will be 0. Once it reaches 80 percentage, this method, this CC will go to 0 and CV will come to 1 because accordingly this switch will initiate the loop. Okay, now you see this. I'm just executing. Just a minute. I'm adding one more display to the SOC. Therefore, you can easily visualize the output. If you run it now, see initially. Whatever the SOC is coming around 77 percentage, 77, 78, it keeps on going. At the time, it is enabled constant current charging method. Now it's about to reach 80 percentage. Look at here, it will be automatically changed once it reaches 980. The moment it reaches, constant current will go to zero. CV will be enabled. So the same uh, constant voltage method will be carry on until it reaches 100 percentage. But it is not quite good to reach, your, uh, it's not quite good to charge your battery to 100 percentage. You have to cut off your power supply once it reaches 90 percentage. It is always a good to use your battery between 10 percentage to 90 percentage of SOC. This will be the uh, standard level recommended by most of the electric vehicle organizations. So that means you should not charge your battery more than 90 percentage. At the same time, you should not let the battery drain less than 10 percentage because that will increase the lifetime of your battery. This is applicable for all electric vehicle batteries, mobile phone batteries, whatever the case. So how to do that one? Now I am stopping the program. So one, once it reaches 90 percentage or 95 percentage, both this constant current method as well as constant voltage method, that is the charging technique, this charging unit should be cut off from the battery. Irrespective of percentage, once it reaches 90 percentage, okay, this charging station should be cut off from the battery. Then only we can improvise the lifetime of battery. How to do that? It's simple. Just go to MATLAB function. Only you need to change the programming lines, conditional lines. That is more enough. Just go to MATLAB function. Change the line like this. So from 0 to 80 percentage, 
from 0 to 80 percentage it is going to be in constant current mode okay so now i'm adding this l safe SOC is greater than 80 and SOC is less than 90. Okay. It's going to be in constant voltage mode. From 0 to 80 percentage, it's going to be in constant current charging method. 80 to 90, it will be constant voltage method once it reaches 90. That means, again, I have to use one more statement else. Both S1 is 0 and S2 also 0. That means, I am going to disconnect this charging station from the battery. So, now we will see. How this thing is going to be done. Save the file. So, whatever the case, if you look at this, I am starting my battery from 77 percentage only. Okay. Again, I am executing from the file. So, initially it was at 77 percentage, therefore, constant current method is enabled, constant voltage method is disabled as of now. Listen how it is working. Now it is about to reach 80 percentage. Once it reaches 80, automatically constant current will be changed to constant voltage. Yes, now the mode has changed. Okay, let us wait up to SOC reaches 90 percentage. What will happen? Let's see. Yes, if you look at this, both will be 0 now. You can stop the simulation. So, when it reaches, when the SOC reaches 90 percentage, both current uh, constant voltage method as well as constant current method, that is a complete charging station will be disconnected from the battery. Yes. Now, if you look at the output, if you want to see what is cell temperature, SOC, current, everything done, you can go to the school and make it as a layout. It will give you the clear idea about how the cell temperature is increasing while charging, okay, as well as what is the SOC, as well as the current value and voltage value with respect to constant current and constant voltage. So this is the way you can develop a, a complete charging technique of any electronic vehicle. I hope this video will give you some clear idea about how to work with electric vehicle battery charging model using constant current and constant voltage method. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries, kindly drop a mail to this mail. Thank you.